Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to tell you guys how to prepare for the Series 2 which is about to come out. Now there's some things you should know about Series 2. It's not just going to be some new sets coming out in new pack animations or new packs whatever. There's quite a bit more about Series 2 that you need to know. So first off, obviously, yes, we will be getting new packs. As you can see, Deshaun Watson is on the gold player pack, and it says Series 1. So I definitely expect them to change this up. I don't know who they're going to put on this pack next. Um, also, I believe, yeah, the gold premium pack has uh, DeAndre Hopkins. So we could be seeing that switch up as well. And then, of course, the elite player pack does have Julio Jones, so we could see that changed as well. Now, will that change the pack prices? No, I, I don't think that'll change the pack prices, but... We could be seeing new players on top of those packs. Now, of course, another thing you guys need to keep in mind about the new series. Very, very, very important is, of course, the sets that are in the game as of right now. When it comes to the series trophy cases, obviously, we have only the series one. And we have series one master David Johnson, series one master NAT David Johnson. Now, depending on how many trophies you guys have right now, you need to think about this. Now, starting when the new series comes out, which I will show you guys and tell you guys when that will come out very, very soon, obviously, these sets are not going to be as good as the new ones. Now, I'm sure in the next one, we have 82 85 overall lead player, and that takes 10 Series 1 trophies. In the Series 2 trophies, uh, it'll probably take maybe 8, maybe 7. It really just depends. Uh, but, of course, we're going to have better sets, and it's going to be less tokens because they don't want you to come back and do these ones next. Now, for me... I have a little bit of a dilemma, but we do have 86 to 89 overall elite player for 40 tokens. Could we see an 87 to 90 in the new one for 40 tokens? Very possible. Uh, maybe not, though. Probably like 50 or 60, to be honest. If they do decide to do that way, or they can do 86 to 89, make it like 35 Series 2 tokens. Which, of course, you cannot use Series 1 tokens in the Series 2, but you can use Series 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, whatever series they decide to do and come back to Series 1 and complete some of these sets with those Series tokens. So, the 86 to 89 overall Elite Player Pack, of course, is very valuable, but I am completing John Madden right now. Now, here's the problem. I am only 134 to 200, so I still need 66 Series 1 trophies to be able to get this done. Now, it does say Series 1 or later trophies, so I could use the Series 2 trophies to get this John Madden done. The issue that I have with this is that we were probably getting another John Madden in Series 2 or some sort of John Madden upgrade thing. I think that's what's going to happen with Series 2. I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure we're meeting something with Series 2 to do with John Madden. Now, I'm really hoping to get this done before Series 2 does start, which is in a couple days now. So, it's going to be really hard. I do have my weekly rewards. So I, get, I get like 9, I think. So, I'll have to get about 57. <laughs> Series 1 trophies, that's going to be a lot to get. But, of course, we do have stuff we can play to get those trophies back. Now, another thing you guys need to do, and this is very important, I feel like a lot of people overlook this, is you need to complete the Elite Token set now. As you guys can see, trading Elite players during Elite Token, tokens are used to unlock special rewards. This set will expire and re-release around 10 a.m. on September 21st. Now, Every single time, I believe about every single time, there was once or twice and they didn't, they actually increase what you need to do to be able to get an elite token. So for me personally, I am going to go ahead and complete this set probably about five to six times today uh, and get this done because obviously Series 2 starts on September 21st, which if you guys are watching this on the day this video is being uploaded, today is the 17th. So that means you have four days to get this set done. Because when they re-release this set, the odds are it's probably going to need more stuff. There's no way it's going to be cheaper. It's either going to stay the same or it's going to be more expensive. So just a precautionary, complete this set if you guys can right now. Because they might re-release this set and it's 280, 280 overall to 81 overalls, 182 to 83, and 184 plus. They can make it say 288 or 80 to 81s and 82 or 83 to 84 and that can be an 85 plus elite. You definitely want, don't want to mess around with that. So uh, I, if, if I were you guys, I would do this set immediately and prepare for Series 2. 
Now, there's also some other things you guys need to know about Series 2. When Series 2 does drop, not only do we just get a bunch of new sets or whatever, but we could also be seeing a bunch of new players in the game. Now, obviously, the September 21st, which would be in four days, would be on Friday. Now, a bunch of people believe that on Friday, and including myself, I personally believe that we could see this, would be the, uh, the Chemistry 101 Solos. Which, if you guys don't know what Chemistry Solos are, as of last year... Uh, the chemistry solos, what you basically had to do was get your team up to tier 6 of a certain chemistry, go into the solo challenges, complete it, and you would get a chemistry badge. Now, say it was go deep. So, if you get uh, go deep to tier 5 or tier 6, whatever they decide to make it this year, you would go into the solo, complete all the solos, you would get a go deep collectible. You add that to a set, and you could get yourself up to, I believe it was 86 um, Joe Hayden or 86 Marshawn Lynch. There was also an NAT version, which might have been an 88 overall. Maybe it was 84 and 86, 84 auction, 86 uh, NAT, or it was 86 auction, 88 NAT. One of the two. But I do know they had that sort of thing. And then way later in the year, we got ourselves a 94 uh, NA or auction bowl, or a 96 NAT Demarcus Lawrence and Jared Gaw. Now that's the thing about last year. Compared to this year, this year we can choose chemistries on any single player. Last year you had to go out and buy certain players to be able to get the chemistries done because of course you couldn't choose the chems on players. They automatically came with go deep, lockdown, whatever chem. So could they do it a little bit differently this year where it's going to be maybe team chemistries we need to get the cowboys the falcons whatever very possible but there'd be 32 different teams so maybe they would do that and only do up to tier two of that team uh, maybe honestly not sure how they can do chemistry solos this year with the fact that we can literally just go through and pick any chem for a player although they could still do the same and it would just cost you a ton of training points to get which would really really suck because that is a lot of training points to spend to actually be able to get your team up to, you know, tier 5, tier 6 of every single chemistry. That's a lot. But, also, we're going to be getting rewards based on how you guys did. And I'm not talking about solo battles. I'm not talking about weekend league. And a lot of people don't even realize this, to be honest. Mutt squads. And I think it might also be in, or not mutt squads, mutt draft. I think it might also be in salary cap as well. But as you guys can see, once you guys come into mutt squads... I actually lost my last game, so I ranked down, but now I'm tier 3 gold. Now, what you guys want to do, you don't even have to get it up to 5 stars. I highly recommend that you guys play as much as you need to. As you can see, I'm 6-6, six and six because literally I just go into games and I'll quit out if I don't like the line that I drafted. Literally, play much draft. It's such a good game mode. First off, for getting coins and stuff, but if you guys get into elite tier, you're going to be getting some good rewards. Now, most likely what we're going to get is maybe if you get into elite tier... I could possibly see an elite player pack, 15 tickets, um, maybe like a 50,000 coin quick sell, some gold player packs, some series trophies, some other stuff like that. Now, that is what we got last year. I believe we got like 15 trophies or uh, 15 tickets. So that basically you can use those tickets to get into another ranked draft game mode. Some packs, stuff like that. So it's very important that you guys go ahead and play Mud Draft and you get your reward up because a lot of people don't even realize that you actually get reward for this. The three stars isn't just for fun. If you make it into the elite, which you have to get all the way up to five golden stars and then the rank after that would be elite so if you guys can manage to do that which i will definitely try to get that done before the 21st because i want to get those super super good rewards for this series too and then of course we might have some new promos coming out like uh chemistry 101 or whatever else also we had mud heroes last year which could we meet, see making a return i don't know but last year i know they were around this time as well but also, guys, the ultimate kickoff solos do expire on the 21st, so that is why I kind of expect us to get the chemistry solos, along with the fact that we're going to be in the Series 2. Now, could we be seeing Mud Heroes as well? I don't think they'll drop both those promos at the same time, but I do expect to see a new promo coming out on the 21st, and I do believe it's going to be the chemistry, because, of course, last year around the same time we got chem, and the game came out a lot earlier this year, so it would only make sense to me that we get the chemistry one-on-one -on -one solos, but I just really don't know how they're going to do it this year, so if I were you, I would also try to stock up on some training points, because you might need quite a bit of it, and if you guys haven't seen my video already on how to get 4,400 training points... For 100,000 coins, you definitely need to check that video out as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. So in recap, guys, I highly recommend you go ahead and you do the Elite Token set uh, as many times as you can. Because obviously it's going to basically go away. And we don't know what the new requirements are going to be. Could it be the same requirements? Yes. Is it going to hurt if it's the same requirements? 
No, it's just gonna be getting the said none. And then of course also play mud draft because you definitely want to get those rewards and we could be getting some pretty good rewards even if you're only making it's like gold uh or elite tier obviously elite is the best one if you only get into gold you're still gonna get some decent rewards but i'm gonna try to get into elite so i can have those uh reward videos out for you guys as well but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i will see you guys next time